Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing really well. Um, this reading is going to be for whenever you run into it and it um, feels like it resonates. If your energy is here, there's probably something for you in this reading. So thank you for letting me be a channel. I'm an open channel here for your spirit guys or your spirit team, your angels, and my spirit team. <clears throat> So this is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. We're going to pull the topic, um, the challenge, and then the energies around that. And we'll clarify if we have to. All right, I think I'm going to take um, flippers. Okay, messages for Sagittarius, please. What's the issue or the topic here? situation the seven of swords in the reverse so you're seeing something very clearly that might have previously not been that easy to see the challenge is um there is a finish line there is a end point i guess you could say so you know if this is about celebrating with others maybe something that's even um happened or maybe you're still on your, like, maybe you can see the way to get to your goal, the strategy, a lot more clear than you had been. All right, what is at, what is grounding us? What is grounding us? The Knight of Pentacles. And the devil. Yeah, well, okay. So we can look at it in this way. That what is keeping us grounded is feeling like there has to be a definite plan. That is what's keeping you grounded, believe it or not. And that, so I'm using the term grounded and, uh, you know, it's okay to be um, connected to the material realm. Um Something is definitely going to come in for you because I have it paired with the Knight of Pentacles. But what's keeping you grounded right now is the ability to make a really good strategic plan. Like this person, you know, I feel like she just doesn't want people to use those swords. So she's grabbing them and she's walking in the other direction. The challenge being either um, not telling somebody in a commitment, maybe, what this is about. But there's, there's a good plan and strategy that if it's, um, well, no, it feels like it's already in place and that it will be having a conclusion soon or finish line. Past energy. Wow. Okay. So a hopeful new beginning. Might be um, possibly talking about like this person saying, hey, cheers to these two. Or, you know, I'm happy for these people. At least whatever it is. Cheers. Um, I toast to you. So it's something that you really like to, that you would toast to. It's something to celebrate in a sense. So that's this was the beginning here in the past energy. And you see how this energy is like looking up at the past this energy of the seven of swords was some deception but it's in the past what is this now moment for some people that can be pregnancy or um, doing something that you love for a job i have the hanged one in reverse for the now moment Meaning it's time to possibly get down from wherever you are because of reaching this kind of like um, the level of perception that you need in order to achieve your goals. You'd like you've already gotten there and this is no more waiting. Coming out of waiting time or whatever that is. A waiting period. What is the future energy looking like? The Knight of Swords in a reverse. The Seven of Swords in a reverse. 
the Knight of Swords in reverse is there's a need to focus and there is a need to seize the day. But some something is going to change uh, or has to change. And I think it, it has to do with your focus instead of waiting like yeah, instead of waiting, it's going after something. It's seizing the day. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Actually, let's get a different deck and let's clarify. Sagittarius. Yeah, what has to change is you knowing that you do have this connection to this magic. Maybe it's talking about earth magic or just magic in general. Ace of Ace of Wands here. And the world in reverse. Meaning that there is a cycle or something coming to a completion. So that you can be on a higher level for yourself um, or have more, you know, there's usually a challenge right before you're about to graduate from something or uh, get through something. The Ace of Wands here is your magic wand and it is uh, the brand new beginnings that are to follow preceding this chapter so and it might happen little bit by little bit here and there but there is something brand new that's manifesting and that you're gonna really love and I don't know I've never even noticed that on the card they've got um like a castle near well it's on top of a mountain yeah and I guess that's a stream I don't know, it might have to do with um, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Can also be about something not moving forward because of changing travel plans just because, you know, just because. So tell me about the Seven Swords in reverse and how do we get closer to the Four of Wands? Nine of Cups, by being careful about what you choose when you wish for things for yourself so as to not fall into the same traps or addictions as before. We don't need to repeat a lesson that you've already learned and uh, gotten through. It's almost over anyways. For some of you all, it's almost over as far as this uh, ability to spring back after healing. So be careful what you wish for because you have strong manifestation abilities right now. So if we're thinking about what we don't have or if we're thinking alternately about something that we do want that's not so great or healthy for us, it could bring some, it could stop some change that's supposed to happen in order to unfold this new um, opportunity for you or, yeah. So tell me more about the Page of Cups in the past. I feel like this has to do with a job, with uh, something that you do for a job. Okay, it has to do with that. It has to be with the light shining itself on either information, like either the pregnancy, or this is light shining on a new start, um, a fresh new you, like doing something, maybe another a different career or something like that, or doing what you love for work. So the light was shown on what you really love, to do what is that innocent inner child wanting to do you have the ability to see through the deceptions of addictions and vices on this earth plane so be careful what you choose because you are also once you get past this you move into an even more accelerated chapter or higher chapter frequency higher frequency that will allow for many more exciting um, things to experience. Mm, so, tell me about the hanged one. 
Okay, developing a strategy, which is what I got with that. To achieve your goal, planning, foresight, and developing a strategy here will help. The four, the emperor. And look, I've got the four ones on the bottom too. 11, 11, 11, 11. Waking up so purpose. Um, celebrating, commitment, a wedding. Um, and, and it's celebrating for everybody too. So it's like a we did it kind of energy. Alrighty. Some of you all might be dealing with selling a home too. That might be like something that, that would be a very big yay, you know. Relationship. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love. Okay, and that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. Sending you light and love. You are appreciated. Bye-bye.